It's the guy G Holy rapping all rap no hip hop dot com and um right now we're gonna talk about storytelling. Um this is how to rap episode three. Um I'm debating on whether I wanna go storytelling or oh by the way, this is all freestyle. I've never written down like yo, this is what I'm gonna say today. Like this is what I do. It's like writing down how to walk. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. And um Let's go songwriting. And I'ma just I'ma I'ma just say along the way how songwriting is really just storytelling. Um I think people got a warped idea about like what writing a song consists of these days. Like I think people think that certain things like the super duper melodic things, the extra like overflowing flows, um you know the chants, the 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 chant hooks, um, the super repetitive stuff. I think that they think that makes their song a great song, and it's not so. Um, I think what's missing from a lot of artists is just soul, right? Cause like you start with the fact that you're a great talent, and then people come in, and they originally this is how like it was. People come in and they build around what you, the, the the greatness, that X factor that you have. But nowadays it's more like, let me, let me not have it. I don't have it in the first place, but let me um, come with the formula that makes it seem like I actually have what it takes, right? So one, it just starts with you tapping into your uniqueness, into your soul, and having the ability to bring out whatever is within you in the most honest way possible. Um, and then with songwriting, you don't really have to write songs. I don't know why people think they have to write songs. You don't have to write songs. You know why you don't have to write songs? Because you have a, a beat, what they call a beat, but the instrumental. Um, the instrumental is you're going to like, mash yourself with the instrumental who you are with the instrumental and the song is going to write itself this is when you get the mastery level not like right now like of course you're if you're at the level where you're still thinking about what to write you're not a master masters don't think about what to write you'll just feel it you can feel what's right to write in the moment even with flows You'll feel when the when the stop when the let me tell you something. It's like this. It's like sex. You know what I'm saying? Can't really say the word, but it's like sex. When you doing your thing, you don't the 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 woman really or the man. You know what I'm saying? And I've never done that, so I'm just saying. I, I'm sure it's like this for women too. When you with a woman, she's the producer. Like, she's determining what you doing without saying a word. She not, she not really saying, do this and do that. Her body is saying it. The vibe is saying it. The room is saying it. The conversations y'all had leading up to it is saying it. Everything is saying it except for here so if you do a thing enough that thing does itself through you there is no formula to songwriting because there's been great songs that are written all different ways so it would the, the only thing that makes a song a great written song well not the only thing but the first thing that makes a song a great written song is the vocals not the vocals themselves, but the words and the cadence match the instrumental in a way where it's not taken away from the instrumental. That's a well-written song right there. That's the only requirement for something to be well-written. Anything other than that is just technical. See, somebody once told me silence is the sound of God. So if you're making noise, 
you better make it beautiful. Something to that effect. The instrumental is already beautiful. This is the one you chose. So, you know, you know in your mind, like, this shit really don't need me. Like, this instrumental really don't need me. My, the only thing I should be doing is adding in a way where it's not taken away from the beauty of what I'm already hearing in the instrumental. And nowadays, I just hear people, like, kind of doing too much. Like, they're over, it's like, they want to be the instrumental. You get what I'm saying? Like, you doing all these extra super duper melodies and flows like you're an actual instrument, which you are. Your voice is an instrument, but like they're really acting like an instrument in the whole thing. It's like, bro, you're here to tell the story of the instrumental, not overpower the instrumental with whatever you whatever your version of the actual instrumental is. You get what I'm saying? It's like an instrumental on top of an instrumental. We don't need that. Sometimes being minimalistic actually works. You know what I mean? Um, like beats, it depends. Like if the beat is like really bare, right? Like Drake, a lot of times he picks super bare beats because he wanna create the um, he wanna he wanna create the entire vibe of what's happening, right? Jay Z on Hovey Baby can't really create anything because Hovey Baby is already what it is. It's saying Hovey Baby is very loud. There's no room to do anything but just get on and brag about yourself. You can't do anything else on that beat. There's nothing else to do. That's what I'm saying. When you think about writing a song, the song is already written because you yourself have a particular vibe. In a particular way you go about things. The way you approach things. And then the instrumental. Combined with you. Already makes the song. Anything else you, you're thinking too much. You're overthinking. You should be thinking when you hear a good instrumental. I know what I do to this. I know exactly what I do to this. If you don't know exactly what you would do to it. Either keep practicing. On just rhymes like like getting into your groove and figuring out who you are as a unique artist or go get different instrumentals um but let's get a little bit more technical on what makes a great song um what makes a great song as far as songwriting is okay on the technical side um bars first of all like bar counting right like Every beat, every beat don't need a 16 hook, 16 hook, 16 hook. So like just knowing where to place what is probably the biggest thing in songwriting. Because 50 Cent on 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 a uh, in the club is not a hit record without go, 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 shorty. It's your br he's easing you into the hook. Feel what I'm saying? He just throw, he just throws like a pre-chorus or like a bridge, like right in the beginning of this shit. Like, soon as the beat drop, boom, boom, go, go. Think about in the club without that. So in the club would be boom, 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 boom. You can find me in the club. Dope, dope can't deny that that still may be a hit record but go 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 people already is on the dance floor you get what i'm saying we're not even waiting for that to drop people already as soon as they hear the go that's like when you hear cash money taking over for the nine nine or two you already let's go dance floor so um it's the number one thing is knowing where to place what um, cause he could also on a, in the club could come in with the, uh, with the verse. How do, how do in the club go? Mm, 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 hug if you want. Oh, so in the club could come on with, mm, mm, mm. When I pull up out front, you know me in the club. You know me deep in 29 in the club, nigga throw the fuck with Dre. Now they could have came on that way. These choices is all determining my listening experience. Whether I'm coming, pause, whether I'm coming in hard, pause, 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 super, 
whether I'm coming in hard or I'm coming in so <laughs> whether <laughs> I gotta find a different way to say this. Um, you know, whether I'm easing you into what I'm actually saying in the song, or uh, like Benny, right? Benny on um Ten More Crack Commandments, right? He gives you like a little prelude to what he's about to say. It's only like two bars. We uh before I left the streets, the streets was my well something. My streets was my expertise. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Frank White, rest in peace. It was like four bars, and then he went into it. Without that little introduction to what he's about to do, that's not the same song. So, like I said, the number one thing in songwriting is knowing where to place where. I can give a thousand examples, but who got time for that? Um, another thing is making sure that what you're saying flows well is like more important than trying to have it sound like a hit. Like, I'm saying... If 50 Cent wrote a great chorus like You Can Find Me in the Club, but when he said it on the beat, that it didn't totally resonate, like it didn't feel like, oh, this is it. He should have wrote that shit down, folded it up, put it in his pocket, and saved it for a more a beat that was more for that. Um, Some people have great hooks and great raps on beats that you can feel it would sound better with a different production style or production like like a perfect example people go to the radio station and they already have pre-written raps and then the dj hit them with something that's totally just out the box that they wasn't expecting. Now they sound crazy with a dope rap. They got a dope rap, but it's not even the tempo that they anticipated. Now they saying a fire rap a corny way. Cause it's like, you thought you was gonna get, you know, maybe like a bone thugs type beat, right? But you, you get a premiere type beat. You know what I mean? Now it's like, damn, I was going to double time on this. How do I double time on Premiere? Now you fumbling through the rap. It sounds nowhere near. Yo, let me tell you something. When you go to the radio station and the DJ really, you don't know what he's about to play, it's the luck of the draw or whether you have a great night or not to some extent. Because if he plays some bullshit, it just, it ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Like if he plays something that's like not in your range of what you have prepared to rap, it ain't gonna happen for you, bro. It's not. The DJ, that's why DJs is so important. But anyway, um, so yeah, knowing where to put what and then knowing what just sounds great where. I know this seemed like um, I don't know, like arbitrary shit. It seemed like like, I don't know, just shit that's like super common sense or something like that. But it really is that simple. Like it really is that simple. Like when you overthink it, you may think something that's hot is not because you have all this technical reason of why it's hot. Like people will tell you like, yo, what works really well on choruses is like A words. Like you say a lot of A words, like there ain't no proven formula for none of this shit. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You have songs that are 20 minutes that are hit records. You got songs that's one minute that hit, that's hit records. You got songs that have no chorus that's hit records you got songs that the whole thing is mostly the chorus like for instance like ain't nobody dope as me i'm just so fresh so, so fresh and so clean clean those are eight bar verses you know why because that's just what fits the best you want to get back to that hook that that hook is so magic with that beat you only want to waste the 16 the extra eight bars for nothing you just want to get right back to that because ain't nothing you about to say on this beat better than ain't nobody dope as me so let it do its work it's four verses and it's four eight bar courses or four or five because that's the best fit you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just give y'all one more far get out because I, I i guess i gotta make this a part two because there's so many different parts of songwriting so just knowing what uh sounds great to what and knowing where to place what to get the best result 
And um, last one I give is um, let me see, let me see. Uh, I think I want to say underwrite. Um, let's just leave it there. Let's leave it there for now, cause I ain't gonna mess it up. It's like 15 minutes. Um, next time I'm a, I'm gonna think before I do it and just have some stuff in my head to just give y'all. Even though I'm a mostly freestyle, I'm just figure out what I'm gonna say because. I don't want to send people down the wrong direction um, and think something is what it ain't. So I just rather cut it here. But this is the third installment of How to Rap. I hope I listen. If I'm not helping, let me know I'm not helping. I can make it different, make it more, you know, succinct or concise or something of that nature. But the book is dropping. I got one for adults, one for children. It's going to be way more stuff than I can give you right here because I can get it in text form really get my thoughts down and like have it be like um a little more digestible and by way of like you you taking it in and like okay i can apply this learning you know what i'm saying it's only like i said youtube has barriers that text breaks so yes um i'm the god g holy repping all rap no hiphop.com that'll be up super soon and um thanks for coming out man i'm noticing this is getting a little traction i'm gonna keep doing this and we're going to get to it, man. We're going to get to it. Trust me. By, like, episode 10, you're going to be like, I'm in. You know what I mean? You got me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab that book, and and we're going to get it on, man. My, my, my goal is to just help people with stuff that, you know, nobody never helped me with. You know what I mean? I, I wish I could have turned on YouTube and been like, yo, how you... You know what I mean? I'm sitting there taping stuff, writing down. I went the long, long way. You know what I'm saying? So at least even if you're going to do that, you can have an OG just be like, here's how you, you know what I mean? Just to give you a little shortcut. So let's get it. Dream team forever. Meet the God. She holy sensei. Lead her men. I got children to feed now. I'll be leaving it in. We miss a link, but I'll see him again. These snitching ass rappers can't fuck with the bars. They ain't seeing the pen. It's all quotes like when your mind was seeing a friend. Before I fall, I leave. Catch me in the wind. My life a movie. You won't see it again. Shallow how my pockets deep. I just turn it three in the ten. How I do it? Switch up the vision. Drop holes. Pick up the mission. Cook. Live in the kitchen. Get it in pictured. I got music merch here yeah, and a book coming. You niggas is shook front and you ain't gonna do nothing. It's my year. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy. Three times.